All right, hey, today we're setting up our science notebooks for this year. You should have a spiral notebook that looks something like this, plastic cover, spiral, 100 sheets of paper. Inside, there should be a folder pocket that you can use. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the reference section, which uses letters, and then we're going to create the numbered pages, which we'll use for all of our units. You should have also gotten a big old stack of papers, and we're going to go through those things so that you can see what goes on each page. And we can start our notebook set up correctly, because I just did mine incorrectly, and I'm redoing the whole thing, so it happens. All right, first thing you're going to do is on the very, very, very first page, next to the folders, this page is going to get the letter A. That's our first reference page that we're going to be using. The next pages or sheets of paper, I've already glued stuff in from the last time I made this, so you're just going to have to pretend they don't exist. On this sheet of paper, there should be a letter B, and then right next to it, there should be the letter C. When we're doing this, numbering and lettering our pages, we want to make sure we're doing it in the outside corner, just because then we can flip through really easily. So um, you are going to keep numbering your reference pages. So here's what it should look like. The very, very first one is A. Then next to each other, you should have B and C. Flip, then you should have D and E. Flip, F and G. Flip, H and I. Flip, J and K. Flip, L and M. Flip, and then you should have the letter N. N is the last letter page. And right next to that is going to start page number one. So once we get to letter N, we start with number one and we number all the way until the end of our notebook. So you should pause here once I'm done explaining this and then you should keep going. So number one, all of your odd numbers are going to be on the right and all of your even numbers are going to be on the left. So when I look here, I have number one and then when I flip, I have two and three, flip, four and five, all the way until you're done with your notebook. You should end up with 180 something pages just because we use the reference pages at the beginning. And then um, if your notebook has slightly different numbers, it should be about 180 something. So um, pause here, number all of your pages until you get to the end of the notebook. This is a great time to put on headphones, listen to music, but make sure you're paying attention and don't skip a number. So keep going. All right, I just finished numbering my notebook. I got up to 186. Yours might be slightly different. So what we're going to do is we're going to look through that pile of papers, and we are going to find this one. This is the safety contract. And at the bottom of the safety contract, you need to write the letter A. Then you are going to go to reference page A, and you are going to attach it. You guys are going to use glue. I'm going to use tape just because sometimes I need to take them out, and I need to make extra copies for you guys. So you are going to use glue. And what you're going to do is for any page that needs to be able to be flipped open, you're going to do two dots of glue on the side of your notebook. You're going to do one between this set of holes and then one between this set of holes. That way, when you attach it, it's in your notebook and you can flip this open and read the back, but it's still attached. Okay. If you glue it at the top, then when you open it, it's upside down. So don't do that. Glue it on the inside part of your notebook and that's going to work the best. Now the next page that you need to go and look for is this page. This is the science and engineering practices. You're going to write the letter B at the bottom of this page and then you're going to glue it on page B. This is page C. You're going to glue it in and you should also write page C on top. All right from this point I'm actually doing it with you. So um, next page, you need to find this standard operating procedure number one, and you are going to take the staple out. The first sheet or the first side gets letter D, and the second page gets letter E, and we're just going to attach those now. They both have a back side, so you should only be gluing it down one side. Pause whenever you need to. sticky tape. Okay. Okay. So I have pages D and E next to each other. Then when we flip, we should be looking at pages F and G. 
Then you are going to find this other standard operating procedure. This one should say number two. And you are also going to disconnect them. The front page is going to get letter F and the other page is going to get letter G and then attach those right now. Once you're done, if you want to go back and take the staples out since they're not holding anything, that's probably a good idea. Okay, F and G are done. Now I'm going to flip to pages H and I. Pages H and I are going to be these science roots and stems. You're going to notice that one says number one, one says number three, um, but it's because two and four are on the back. So again, you want to make sure you don't glue this down flat, otherwise you're not going to have access to all of the words. And we are going to be using these quite a bit this year. So attach these to your notebooks on pages H and I. We're going to flip to J and K. This sentence starter page is going to be letter J. This should look pretty familiar. This was one you should have also had in your sixth grade notebook. And letter K should also look pretty familiar. This was also in your notebooks last year. These are a great resource anytime we do writing. You can go back and you can look at these for help. You do not ever have to use them, but you're welcome to. All right, J and K are done. Two more reference pages. Page L is this measuring and microscope one. This looks similar to the one that you had last year, except we've replaced it with instructions for a digital skill since we'll be using digital skills a lot this year. So I'm going to glue this on page L. My goodness, if the tape wants to work. And our last reference page is this variables and types of graphs. This should be really helpful. We're going to put that right there. All right, so that's technically the last reference page that we are gluing in or attaching. There's one more reference page that we are going to make. And what we're going to do with that one is I want you to look just at page N. I'm going to tilt it sideways, so the spiral's at the bottom, and I'm going to write a title across the top. We are going to, it's going to say Science and Cooking Connections. And you can pause here for spelling. Okay. And that's all we're going to do with that one at the moment. I just don't like leaving a blank page because then sometimes we accidentally put stuff there. So now this is going to be its own assignment. We're just going to worry about it later. So um, starting on page one will be stuff for our first unit. So um, you will receive specific instructions on how to set up each unit later on. Uh, oh, last thing, tab tab. So when you get the tabs, they should look like this. What you're going to do is you're going to fold back on that dark colored line in the middle. So it looks like this. And you are going to wrap it around one of your pages. So I'm going to look right here at the very first page of my notebook. I'm going to flip this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Pac-Man this around the page. You know, that's kind of confusing. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to wedge it over here and put it up at the top. And I want the word reference to be poking out. For this, it is a lot easier to use tape. So I do recommend you use tape. Let me do it real quick and then I'll show you. Okay. 
And you're gonna to wanna to tape it on both sides so it's nice and strong. So you can poke it out the side as much or as little as you want. I probably am going to redo this so I can see the word reference a little bit better. Um, but this is going to help you to be able to flip and turn to different sections in your notebook really easily. Let me actually redo that real quick so you can see it. The, I really like the tabs. They're helpful for me because then I can quickly flip to a specific section in my notebook. There we go. That looks better. And now, so when I close my notebook, I can see this little tab here and I can easily flip to that section. So that's how you do the tabs and that's how you do your notebooks. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask.